Bonjour les amis, learn French at home with Madame Quentin. Bonjour, today I'm here to talk to you about accents. Now when you hear the word accent, maybe you think I'm talking about this type of accent. Or maybe it could be this type of accent, I don't know, it could be any type of accent. Or perhaps because this is a French video, am I trying to talk to you about this type of French accent? No, no. Today I'm talking to you about French accents, the lines and marks that you put above and below letters when you're writing in French. And you will also see them when you're reading in French as well. And maybe you've wondered, what are those funny lines? Well, let's dive in and have a look. Accents are fun. L'accent aigu est, like in the word, téléphone. Number one, l'accent aigu. L'accent aigu is found above the letter E in French. Now, without the accent, the letter E makes the sound E. E. But when you put the accent aigu above, it makes the sound E, like in the word café. Let's have a practice. A, A, A. L'accent grave, E, like in the word père. Have a look at number two, l'accent grave. So this accent changes the letter E in front from the sound E to the sound E, like in the word très. Let's have a practice. L'accent circonflexe, eh, like in the word forêt. Look at number three, l'accent circonflexe. This accent can be found above any of the vowels in French. And it's a good accent because it always reminds me of a party hat. So it looks quite nice. Now this accent doesn't change the way the letter sounds. What it does is show us that there used to be in the past another letter in the word that has now been removed. For example, in the word hôtel, there is an accent circonflex above the O, which shows us that there used to be in the past another letter, and that letter was S, and that gave us the word hostel. L'accent tréma separates two vowel signs, like in the word maïs. Let's look at accent number four, l'accent tréma. This accent can be found above the letters E, I, O and U. And this accent is two little dots above the letter, a bit like a piggy nose. Now this accent is used to show us that the second vowel in a word is pronounced separately. Let's have a look. This word, if it didn't have the tréma above the E, it might be pronounced nol. But when you write the tréma accent above the E, it makes the word Noël. So the second vowel is separate to the first one. So it gives you two syllables or two beats to that word Noël. La cédille makes the sound s like in the word français. And finally, let's take a look at number five. La cédille. This is one of my favourite accents because unlike the others, it is found underneath a letter and it is found underneath the letter C. And this is how you draw the accent. It's really fun to draw. So this accent changes the letter C from a hard K sound to a soft S sound, like in the word garçon. If I don't put the sedi accent, I would read that word garçon, but I want to say garçon. So I draw the sedilla accent underneath la sedi, and it changes that from a hard k, k sound to a soft s, s, s sound. What a fantastic accent. Let me introduce you to Vincent l'accent. Vincent's face is made up of the five French accents. Can you spot them? Shall we have a look together? The first one is the accent aigu, which is that one. Then we have l'accent grave. Voilà. Then we have 
l'accent tréma here, ici. Then we have l'accent cédille ici. And finally, we have l'accent circonflexe. Et voilà Et maintenant, mesdames et messieurs, nous avons la chanson des accents. I love your accent. Mwah.